Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel! And sa video ng ito, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano register ang inyong SIM card in 3 easy steps. Are you ready? Let's start! Ano nga ba ang SIM registration? Sabi dito, Republic Act No. 11934 mandates all SIM users, both existing and new, to register their SIMs with their current telcos. So, ginawa po ito, in-implement ito para maiwasan yung mga nang i-scam sa text messages. Next, who should register their SIM? So, kung nagbabalak ka po na bumili ng bagong SIM card, kailangan mo muna po itong i-register bago nila ito i-activate. And sa mga old users naman po, i-register lang natin ang ating mga SIM card online. And for minors na gumagamit na ng cellphone, ipapangalan ito sa kanilang guardian or parents. What information are needed for me to register my SIM? So, kailangan yung phone number na i-register mo is na-active pa siya. Yung full name mo, date of birth, complete address, sex, and kailangan din ng isang valid ID kung paano mo ni-register yung GCash mo. Ganun din. Kailangan ng valid ID, pipicturean mo yung front and, ba front and back and yung selfie photo mo. To those who are asking naman po kung ano yung mga IDs na acceptable, may listahan po tayo dito. Meron pwede yung passport, Philippine identification, SSS ID, GSIS ID, or e-card, driver's license, NBI clearance, police clearance, professional regulation commission ID, or PRC ID. At meron pa, pwede din ang OWA ID, BIR ID, Voters ID, Citizens Card, and Person with Disabilities Card. For those who are smart or TNT users, ito po yung link na gagamitin natin para makaregister tayo online. Step 1. Get your PIN. Have your phone ready. And you will receive an OTP when you enter your mobile number below. So, ito po yung unang fill up and kailangan lang na ilagay mo yung number mo, then check the terms and condition, send OTP, and then i-type mo na yung six OTP or six digits and verify. So, step two. Input your information. Complete your profile, enter your OTP and the information, and attach a copy of your valid government ID. So, dito naman kayo mag-input ng mga personal information niyo. So, meron dito ng lalabas na types, type of registration. Sa type of registration, pipili ka kung ang gamit mo is yung new SIM or old SIM card kung minor ka, nagagamit on. And then, ako kasi old users na ako, pinili ko yung old SIM. And yung ID card mo, magsaselect ka na. Ako ang pinili ko dyan is PRC ID. And also, mag-upload ka rin ng uh, valid ID mo, yung front and back. Ang kailangan mong picturean. And pagkatapos nun, i-scan yung face mo. Kailangan mo lang kumindot kindot para ma-accept yung picture mo. And pakataas nito, may lalabas na we have successfully captured your ID information. Please click OK to proceed. So, mag-continue ka na sa pag-fill up dito, yung ID card number, first name mo, middle, na middle name, yung last name, date of birth, and yung kasarian. And, pag tapos ka na, is click mo na yung next. Next. 
Step 3. Step 3 na tayo. So, step 3, wait for SMS confirmation. Don't forget to save your control number. We may need to further validate your details or notify you of your successful registration ba, uh, via SMS or call. So, ito text ka na lang ni Smart. So, do I need to register the SIM in my Smart Bro Packet Wi-Fi or PLDT Home Wi-Fi? The answer is yes. Smart Bro Packet Wi-Fi or PLDT Prepaid Home Wi-Fi routers that come with a prepaid SIM card are also required to be registered. This also includes SIMs intended for Wi-Fi routers. Next question is, how can I retrieve the OTP sent to my Smart Bro prepaid packet Wi-Fi? For SIMs inserted in Smart Bro packet Wi-Fi or PLDT prepaid home Wi-Fi, please access your SMS inbox through your device's dashboard. So, you can uh, click the link sa mismong website for the step-by-step -step procedure and that's all for today thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much